Hey guys, how are you? I just wanted to come on here and say what's up. Um, it's been, it's been some time. Um... I'm just super busy with school and it's fucking killing me. I have... Just, this is my last year to be honest with you and um... I'm really excited for it to be over. I just, I'm just overwhelmed by the amount of work we have to do. Uh, it's only been a couple weeks, but like I love school and all, but it's hard. It's really fucking difficult. I don't even want to talk about it to be honest with you. How have you guys been? So I don't know. A lot of things have been going on in my life, and I'm just trying to like stay on top of it. You guys want to see my shoes? So these are like my new favorite shoes. I bought them for school, but um, I'm terrified to wear them because they're all white. So these are Pumas. I love the sole. I'm obsessed with the sole, like my sole, but it's primary colors. And if there's one thing you know about me, I love primary colors. It's like, you're primary, what can you say? Um, What else has been going on? So <laughs> I've, <laughs> So a lot of people have been telling me that they love story times. They love the way that I tell a story and stuff like that. I haven't done a lot on this channel because like, I don't think I'm that funny. Like, so I'm just like talking on my ass right now. Um, but, so I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, people have funny stories. They talk about experiences, things they've done. So I was like, okay, let me, let me think about some stories that I've done. Things that have happened to me recently, blah, blah, blah but it, it hasn't worked. So. I think I'm an introvert. Like I'm in media communications in school. I am on you. I, I do YouTube. I love social media, but it's not real. None of that is real. And what is real is me in the present in life. And the sad thing is, is like I'm pretty introverted. Like you may, like you may meet me and you would say that no, Brad, you're an extrovert. But like when I try to rackle rattle my brain about stories that I could tell you guys about funny situations because like there's many there's a lot but I think like okay what have I done in the past like two weeks what have I done in the past month what have I done like, not a lot that wouldn't involve me bitching or ranting you know what I mean so <laughs> I've been trying to think of it and I'm like yo Brad you don't do anything like you go to work, you go to school, you come home. Like, I'm not rich, I don't have a lot of money. I live in a metropolitan city. It's fucking expensive to leave your house here. But I don't do anything, like, like I don't do anything. So I, I said to my boyfriend the other day, I was like, I think I'm an introvert. And he's like, oh, hell yeah, you're an introvert. Like, I don't like leaving my house. I, I don't mind if people come here, like I don't have agoraphobia, but like, I don't love leaving my home. I feel the most comfortable. I spend a lot of money to live here. I might as well enjoy it. I like having people over. Um, but yeah, I, I don't like leaving. And it's it's it sucks sometimes. Like, I see all my friends on Instagram and Snapchat out having fun. Not even just partying. Just, like, out doing things. And I'm just like, oh, like... I want to do that. That looks like a lot of fun, but it's like, you might have to fucking get up off your ass and leave your house. And I'm not lazy. It's not a lazy thing at all. Um, I'm actually quite active. I enjoy going to the gym and working on my fitness. Right, my fitness. Um, I enjoy going for walks. We go for walks a lot. We do, we do shit like that. But I don't like leaving my house for long periods of time. Like, I like to be at home. I also love television. Oh my god, what are you guys watching? Because like right now I'm wa I'm watching a lot of shit. Right, I cannot um, keep track. But one of my favorite shows on television of all time, you know this, is RuPaul's Drag Race. I never miss an episode. Never would. I watch most of them twice too. That's Ryan again. He's my witness. Um, but yeah, I. I want to tell you guys stories, I want to have fun experiences, but like I don't do anything and I'm okay with that, like, is anyone out there, like, do you guys agree, like, are you guys introverts, like, we live in a, I know what, I know what people say, like, oh, everyone lives on their phone, everyone, but we kind of do, like, I live socially on my telephone because, like, I'm exhausted from my day, you know what I mean? 
I don't, I don't know. I just work really hard. I study really hard. And I don't like leaving my house. <laughs> Whatever. Sound off below. Do you like leaving your house? Like, I, okay. So no shade to my mom or dad, but like, I know it. Like, when I lived at home with my parents, I could not wait to get the hell, like, out of the house. I wanted to go out and have fun, do fun things, things I couldn't do at home. Um, I just wanted to get the hell out and, like, go be with my friends and chill. But, like, maybe it's because that wasn't my house. But my parents are extreme introverts as well. Like, my parents barely have any friends. I'm just kidding. Mom, I'm your friend. I love you. But, like... They're introverts. And I used to say to them when I was a kid, like, oh my god, go out, do something, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, no, like, I want to stay home. Because I get it. They fucking worked super hard to support three children. They do very active jobs. So when they come home, they just want to put their fucking feet up and relax and be with each other. All I want... Okay, so this is pathetic and sad. But again, sound off below. All I want to do is come home and be with my boyfriend. It's pathetic and I get it. And like, there's a lot of single people out there who are like, oh, like, all people do is get in relationships and all they do is chill. But I'm sorry, but that is your chosen person. You should never get offended by someone wanting to hang out with their partner because that person is the person they have chosen. You guys chose each other to be friends and that's great. But you do not give your friends everything that you give your partner. And I'm sorry, but like, I love my friends to death, but if I had to choose to only see Ryan for the rest of my life, or I could see all of my friends for the rest of my life, but I had to split it equally with Ryan, I would choose Ryan over all of them. I really would. I, he is the one person on this earth that I can say anything to, and he will not judge me. If any of you have relationships, you know that was a damn right lie. That boy judges me all the time. In fact, I feel like my boyfriend judges me more than anyone else in my life. But it's okay. I've chosen him. And I judge the fuck out of him, too. But that's that's what it is. I don't know if it's like... I don't have agoraphobia. I'm not afraid of leaving my house. I just choose not to. And, like, I love lazy Sundays. I love lazy Mondays. I love lazy Tuesdays to Thursdays. Um, Fridays and Saturdays. I love it all! I love to be a lazy toad. But, um... That's my shit. One thing that Ryan and I do love to do um, is that we thought about doing this as a video, but I was like, I think that's illegal, is we love walking around neighborhoods and talking shit about people's beautiful houses. Like, oh, nice trim on this fucking house. Meanwhile, it's like a $2 million house and I live in a fucking shoebox of a condo. You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck are we? But I love that. That is something that we have always done, walk around like little neighborhoods and just talk shit about it. Just talk fucking shit. I love it. It's like we're so jealous and we're so hating. Uh, so let's talk about haters for a sec. Serially though. Serially. I posted this thing on... Let's just see what it's at. Because you know what? Fuck all these people who fuck with me and all that shit. Oh, my... My friend Steph's getting drunk with her family right now. We have a huge project due that we need to be doing and this bitch is getting drunk. Like I said, I love her. Um, so yeah, I posted this thing, who wants me to make more videos or whatever, and I was like, who wants me to record no new videos? You know, yes or no. Um, Let's just look at the uh, criteria. It was yes or no. 61% said they wanted me to make videos. And 40%, well, 39, because y'all can probably do math better, said no. So, I mean, not a lot of people voted. Only... Only 18 people voted. And um, 11 said yes. But 7 people said no. You hating motherfuckers. That was a no. Let's check out this no. I'm not going to tell you who said no, but... Oh, he's actually really cute. Why would you say no? I just commented that. I don't give a shit. Why would you say no? Uh, the next no is... From Kevin... Ugh, fuck you, Kevin. I love Kevin, to be completely honest with you. Um... 
But I'm not following Kevin back, Kevin back. so if I did, I'd be his 500th follower. Kevin, maybe you should shout out me and apologize for saying no more videos, because I just shouted out you, and I will be your 500th follower. If not, I love you, Kevin. Um, the next person is my buddy Sal, who actually messaged me and said, uh, I didn't mean to press no. I'm like, but you don't watch my videos, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then there were a couple others, but I don't want to call them out because I just don't want to. Ooh, the weekend's on. I love that guy. Oh, and this guy always, uh, does his stories in the shower. Like, always. Like, nothing, like, pornographic or anything. He's just, every morning he has a shower and he just Instagrams, like, a feeling with, like, water running down him. It's, it's great. I wish I could tell you. I would shout him out, but he has to tell me that he watched this video, and then I'll shout him out and get him a lot of followers because you know I'm super fucking famous. Like he's probably got more, he's got more followers than I am, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, guys, that was kind of random, kind of fun. I didn't know where it was gonna go. I just thought if I sit like this and have a conversation, then then maybe shit will come out. My battery's about to die. I've done a lot of recording when I should have been studying, but fuck that. But yeah. Anyways, um, okay. Bye, guys. Remember, guys, if you want to see my videos and get notified about them, you have to subscribe and you gotta hit the bell. Or you won't know.